Hello, welcome to a new Creature tutorial. This tutorial is going to teach you the new features that, that have been added to Creature to aid you in preparing your meshes for sprite swapping. All right, so let's get started. So here's our sample project. And before we begin, I like to emphasize again that as you know, Creature is a completely mesh-based animation system with bones and skinning. And that, what that means though, is that when it actually creates these mesh regions, the mesh regions are typically crafted or sculpted to sort of follow the shape of your bitmap in a blocky way, correct? But when you want to do sprite swapping, because your sprites might be of different sizes or your sprites might be of different ratios or, or dimensions, you typically want to, to include some kind of placeholder, like a rectangular placeholder, like what I have here, a rectangular block to, to do sprite swapping. That's what I recommend because this means that you're going to be able to have this uniform block over here that can be swapped out with different images with holes in them, with different ratios, with different dimensions. So that, that's typically what I recommend. So you, you should sculpt out or create some kind of image, blank image placeholder like this rectangular placeholder in preparation for sprite swapping. And this is the region mesh that we're going to use to do sprite swapping, okay? Now let's go into the rig. As you can see, these placeholders, these, these rectangular placeholders have been placed at different portions of the image, right? Now, the first thing you can do to help you, to aid you in sprite swapping is to use this feature. When you click on rig, there is a tool called swap image preview, okay? So let's move, swatch, move the window over here. And what you can do, let's say I wanted to test to see if my flame image was the correct size, correct swapping size for this placeholder over here. What do I do? Well, you click on swap, a set swap image and you pick your flame like so. And there you go. The flame appears. Now this is a preview. This is obviously not the final result, but this is a preview showing you what proportion and what size the flame is going to appear if you were to sprite swap it in animation mode. So it's very, very helpful. And what you can do now is you can basically select this mesh over here and you can scale your region mesh, okay? So essentially what I recommend you to do is you could basically create these sprite swapped images and then run the image preview and then you can then scale your region meshes in accordance to the size and the position that you want the flame to actually be in the final image. So once you have that, Right? Once you have that, when you do the actual sprite swapping, it will just work. Assuming that you actually export all your sprite images in the same ratios or dimensions as this sprite image. Okay? And so that's the first new feature that is helpful for sprite swapping. That's the rig, the uh, swap image preview feature. Okay? So that's the first one. Now for pro users, that's actually a new mesh motor that's just been added, which is really exciting and I'm going to show it to you right now. And this actually allows you to actually scale or, or scale and translate the region mesh live in animation mode. And so the way to use it is you go to regions, you click on, again, the mesh region you care about, click on install motor and select simple transform motor. Okay, so select that one. If you play the animation, nothing happens, of course, because we haven't configured it. Now what's cool about this thing over here, this, this new mesh motor over here, is I can actually selectively scale the mesh region. So let's swap in an image first. Okay, so let's enable sprite swapping, image swapping. Let's go to Sprite Frame Manager. Let's put in some kind of flame. Okay, so now we have a flame over here, right? We have the flame. Now let's say you're not happy with the size of this flame. Now instead of re-exporting a PNG and trying to figure out the dimensions of it, what you can do is just simply scale up. So I can actually, you know, change the Y scale, I can change the X scale, right? And I can also move, I can translate this object. So it becomes very convenient, right? You can, you can immediately place your swapped sprite wherever you want in the animation time frame. So you can actually key these values over time and then fit the swapped sprite in accordance to the dimensions of your image swapping, your image, sorry, image that you're gonna use for image swapping. So that's basically it. I mean, that's basically the two features. The first feature I wanted to show you was the swap image preview functionality, which allows you to preview a swapped image on your rig, right? You can use it and then 
figure out the actual size of it, size up your, your swapped in placeholder, and then you're done. And then, and then just export all your sp swapped sprites in the same ratio or dimensions. Now, if you have the pro version, you can actually go one step further and use the new mesh deform transform filter, which allows you to actually scale and translate live in the animation editor each sprite. So you can actually have sprites of different sizes and different ratios for each frame. It's pretty cool. And then you can move them and put them in the right place. So I hope this is very helpful for you guys to do sprite swapping creature. And thanks for watching.